This question comes from Jonathan, who asks, What if I took a swim in a typical spent nuclear fuel pool? Would I need to dive to actually experience a fatal amount of radiation? How long could I safely stay at the surface? Short answer. If you're a reasonably good swimmer, you could probably tread water for anywhere from 10 to 40 hours, until you black out from exhaustion and drown. But that would happen even in a regular pool without nuclear fuel at the bottom. And that's not really what Jonathan was asking. Let's dive deeper. Spent nuclear fuel is highly radioactive and extremely hot. That's why it's stored underwater. The water cools the rods down. The water shields you from deadly radiation. Spent fuel sits at the bottom of these pools for decades, slowly losing its dangerous edge until it's inert enough to be moved into dry storage. Fun fact humanity still hasn't agreed where to permanently store all the nuclear waste. Future problem. Now the pool itself. Temperature? Typically between 25 C and 35 C, warmer than most swimming pools but cooler than a hot tub. Radiation? The bigger issue. For the type of radiation given off by spent fuel rods, every 7 centimeters of water cuts the radiation intensity in half. That means 2 meters away from the rods equals 1 billionth the radiation you'd get if you hugged them directly. Another 2 meters? Another billionth less. In other words water is an incredibly effective shield. So what happens if you swim in there? If you stay near the surface and don't dive deep, you're fine. In fact, the radiation dose you'd absorb might be less than what you get walking around outside under the cosmic rays. Yes, you might technically be safer underwater than strolling down the street. But, if you dive to the bottom and get close to the fresh rods, even for a moment, you could receive a fatal dose of radiation. What about the water itself? The water is filtered constantly, but trace amounts of radioactive material can linger. You wouldn't want to bottle it up and sell it as nuke aid. Even though, let's be honest, that would be an insane marketing campaign. In 2010, a diver servicing the spent fuel pool at the Liebstadt nuclear plant in Switzerland spotted a strange piece of tubing on the bottom. Following protocol, he placed it into his tool basket. He didn't hear his radiation alarm because of bubble noise. As the basket rose toward the surface, radiation alarms around the pool blared. They immediately dropped the basket back and evacuated him. That piece of tubing? It had once been part of a reactor core sensor, now highly radioactive after years of neutron exposure. The diver's hand, the body part nearest the tubing, absorbed a massive radiation dose. If he had tucked the object into his belt or worn it near his torso, he could have died. Water shielded his internal organs and saved his life. Swimming near the surface of a spent fuel pool? You'd probably be fine. Just don't dive down, touch anything strange, or drink the water. And just to be safe, I asked a friend who works at a research reactor, what would happen if someone tried to swim in your pool? He thought for a moment and replied, in our reactor, you die pretty quickly, from gunshot wounds. And here's the real truth. The water isn't the enemy. The radiation might not even be your enemy, if you stay smart. The real dangers are simpler, deadlier, and much more human. Curiosity. Recklessness. Ignorance. You could survive the radiation. You could survive the heat. But you won't survive a bad decision. Because in the nuclear world, mistakes aren't forgiven. They're just final.